Hello, I'm Adam Roberts with the Clark County School District, and I'm going to walk you through how we provision the, uh, the Bosch 8000 series uh, cameras into our web portal and into Milestone. Um, this is going to be the first video of a few um, on how we get them completely in. Uh, this is just going to be the first allocation of uh, the very first group of the Bosch cameras uh, from a new site. Um, now these sites, uh, these these cameras have been brought up once before, actually a couple times before, uh, for testing and stuff. But uh, backed everything off so that we can uh, work through them from the beginning. So all the cameras are defaulted. Um, and what we've got is is we've got Farron Elementary School now. Let's start by talking about uh, what cameras are going out there. So we've got, from our design matrix, we've got all of these, uh, basically 106 cameras. Now, because I brought these up before, some of these are marked. Uh, they're basically the ones in red and rose-ish color. Uh, those are currently cameras that are not online um, and that, are, that need to be addressed by the contractor. Uh, the one in blue is something that we were able to fix ourselves. Uh, so that was a problem initially, but it was repaired. Um, so we've got essentially right now instead of 106 we've got 96 um, so what I'm gonna start with is I'm just gonna start with this uh, this first column over here uh, these are the cameras that are in uh, or that are going to be attached to switch 3 um, these are the camera numbers in this column uh, the second column here are the port numbers of the switch and of course we've got uh, the room number of which that is so we've got switch 3 and ER 106 um, which the cameras are attached to. We've got 38 of them that are supposed to be in there and you'll see here that we've got five that are bad which means that we're going to only see 33 as we do this. So uh, let's begin. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, turn PoE on these switches. Uh, so I'm going to come over, I'm going to attach to that switch three. Uh, we'll go in here and turn PoE on. First, need to grab those ports, and we're going to, through 38. We need to turn all of those on, and now we'll see here that the operation state is on, admin state is on, which they, they get turned on right away. So you see, all the way up to 38 got turned on. Uh, there's some power that's pre-allocated towards it. Uh, but it, it's only going to bring the switches smart enough. It's only going to bring cameras on as as it can and try to figure out where things are at. So it brings them on and kind of keeps going down these ports. And you'll see now we're up to 18 here. Uh, we'll do this one more time, and you'll see that now we've got some that are off. We were expecting these to be off. These will probably turn back on here, um, and then we're going down to 29. Um, so we give this a couple more seconds here, and we should see all of them on that we're expecting. Uh, Non-PD, uh, that should clear out here in a moment. There we go. And you start to see the actual power that's being consumed there. So 2021, 22 kind of uh, had a little bit of a hiccup. So the switch probably was just being a little bit over anxious on those. There we go. Now we should see uh, one, two, three, four, you know, four that are off. Uh, we might have a contractor out there looking into these right now, too. Uh, uh, actually, oh, no, the one that was in the rows actually was getting PoE, but it didn't have any link. So uh, we've got those four and then probably that fifth one. So let's go over and take a look at our DHCP. And uh, we'll refresh here. And we've got 33. So you see how they grabbed them all in order here from DHCP. So we've got 101 through 133. So we've got those 33 cameras uh, that grabbed IP addresses. Now let's go over to Configuration Manager. And let's see if we can find those. I've already put the IP address in because we knew uh, what we were going to be looking for here. So let's see if we find them all. 33 devices total. That's, that's great. So now let's configure those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select all. I've got one device selected that should update here, 33 devices selected. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to come over to general and we need to set that service password. So I'm going to do that right now. We 
save that. I just did a control save. There's also a little save icon over here. Now that that's saved, um, we have to then we have to set the authentication. Now this is something that I've talked with Bosch about already that hopefully that they fix here in the future is that when I set the password, that password should automatically set to the authentication piece so that I don't have to uh, basically double work here and, and come over here and now I have to set this again. Well, I just set it. We're in the same application. It should be smart enough to know this. Uh, hopefully they make that adjustment uh, just to save this very few. Uh, it's kind of an inconvenience more or less. So we should start to see these. Actually, I'm going to run a refresh here. And we should see those turn yellow with the yellow exclamation point. That's good. That means we're, we're authenticated, uh, but there's a problem with the certificate, uh, which has a self-signed certificate. That, that's all good. Um, it brought me over to networking. It's convenient this time um, uh, but because I need to turn basic authentication on. So I'll take that on. I will save that. Again, we have 33 devices selected, so that's going to set that on all 33 devices. Very next thing now is I want to come over here when it's done doing what it's doing. And I want to set the uh, network settings. Um, now, it, it, it's convenient here that it came up with actually the right IP address range and settings that I want to set these at. Now, it might not have known that, uh, but down here in my design matrix, um, I have already set the pre-allocated what these are devices are going to be. So 1086, 138, 101 through 138. And then the next one gets the next group based on how many cameras are there and so on and so forth, as you see here. So I know what IP addresses are going to be assigned to what group of devices. Now, I don't know what cameras are going to get what IP address. That's going to come up later. We're going to do a mapping with the switch here, but um, we'll do that from our web portal. But we've, we've got to get to that point still. So let's set that IP address. It looks like they're all there. We're still gray over here. Um, I'm going to refresh again. Now we do have some problems. When we do set the IP address, let's see how this works this time. Let's refresh. Okay, so it looks like we've got two cameras that did not release properly. So they didn't get the IP address set correctly. Um, we've been finding this fairly often. Why there's only two out of the 33, I don't know. But uh, what we're going to do is come over here and uh, we're looking for devices. See here, we still have 139, 121, 122. They're not in the, the proper range. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to grab these since we can reach them and they're authenticated, and I'm just going to uh, reboot them. Uh, sometimes it's a little easier just I take the PoE off the entire switch and turn them back on. That does the same thing, but this should fix the problem. We'll give that a minute to reboot. Okay, we should be able to do a refresh here and hopefully that, uh, that finds those devices. There we go. Uh, so they got there was 112 and 113 is what they were supposed to be. As you see, I still had them highlighted. So, okay, we've got that straightened out. Um, of course, that's gonna we're gonna note that problem in our problem sheet that uh, these devices don't always get their IP addresses as the way that they're designed. So um, now that we've got static IP address and we've got our basic authentication, these basically cameras, this is almost all. We've got one more step uh, I want to do here, and that is, is I want to add those to a group. Um, so this is a new group. It's not in my list right now, so I'm going to create this one here. It's uh, Farron Elementary School, and the site code for that is 0525. We'll do that, add to system.
Now let's go over to My Devices, expand Farin, select the group, 33 devices selected. Okay, so those are in where I need them to be for Configuration Manager. At this point, that's all we need to do in here for the moment. Now we're ready to import those into our web page. So I'm going to add new camera. We're going to select Bosch here. I'm going to start with a camera number higher than uh, anything existing that's in our, our list. So we had 106 cameras. I'm just going to start with 201 uh, because we don't know what camera has what IP address yet. Uh, that's going to be our next step. And we had 133. And we're going to add devices. Now, there's several things that are going on while we're, we're adding these devices. Basically, what we're doing is, is we're making sure that the service uh, user and password is, is correct uh, from what we have uh, set from our standard. Uh, and then we go in there and we start setting all of the settings to these cameras that we can. Uh, up until this point, uh, we're adding a user into the user base, which is also uh, part of the service group uh, that we use for Milestone. So Milestone will use this new user. We set the time, the date, daylight savings time. Uh, we set the encoder profiles and the streams. Um, and we'll, we'll, I'll bring this back once these are all in and I'll show you what, uh, where we can ver verify and validate these. So we get those, all those settings set on our initial uh, provisioning. And we'll give this a minute to finish. All right, we're almost done here. You see we're at the 132, we've got one more, and 133. Uh, the screen behind us uh, refreshed a little bit, but not completely. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Oh, actually, it did. It pulled everything back in. Um, so about this page real quick, uh, normally there would be a snapshot here for previous devices that we've used, like Sony and Access. Um, but with the Bosch and the security the way that it is these days, uh, we're not able to get that uh, snapshot very easily. It's still under development. We're still looking at ways of trying to do that. But right now, um, we've got the camera number. Uh, we've got the IP address, uh, the model number, firmware, and serial. Now, these are going to try to shorten these a little bit and, and uh, get them a little bit more uh, tight so that we can uh, uh, narrow that that kind of data there. Live and archive, that uh, has to do with milestone. So milestone, the amount of data that each one of these cameras uses in the live and in the archive drive. And then a view description saying that if it's a interior or an exterior camera, if it's uh, in the gym, if it's in the hallway 300s, if it's, you know, if it's in the office, uh, all that stuff gets put in here. And then it also gets pushed out to milestone eventually. Uh, and then we got some action items I'll come back to a little bit later. Um, but now that we've got those in and uh, all of the camera settings have been set uh, up until this point, it's the majority of the settings. We still have some other ones to do once we get them in the milestone. Um, and we still have some development work to do on a couple of small items. But we're going to come over here to uh, the advanced options. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use this and I'm going to see what MAC addresses are on what ports on this Switch 3 that we were just working with. And then match them up to what's in our database. So. The MAC address that it came through on switch port one um, was this MAC address. And then we look at our database and go, okay, what camera number is that? So the uh, 230. Well, I'm gonna use come back to my camera matrix here. Let's set this off to the side and then we'll split these screens. And now what I can do is, is I can say, okay, um, that on port one is camera four. And I can just go down this list um, and, and set them. Now I gotta be careful on an initial thing because I already know that nine and 10 are not there on ports six and seven. You can see that port six and seven didn't find a MAC address, so it just skipped it over and we've got port eight. So we know uh, that there was a problem there. I also look at the PoE settings and uh, other port settings and stuff to determine that before I get to this point normally. Six of twenty-three. Yep. Yeah. 
Now we're going to save the cameras to the numbers to our database. And then the next thing is, is I'm going to take these camera numbers and I'm going to push them out to the Bosch device. Uh, and then we will map them to switch three. Now this is just a warning saying that you didn't have a number in there because that's actually an APC uh, UPS that's there, that's plugged in on that port. Okay, everything's done, so we can close this out. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this now. We're done with that uh, spreadsheet for this step. Uh, come back over to our camera list. I'm gonna refresh the page so it rereads these camera numbers from the database, and there are all our camera numbers. Now let's go check, make sure that they uh, it happened on uh, on our our web page, right? And we had here. Okay, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, now I'm gonna select here, select the group, select the group again, and then reload. And there are all our camera numbers, and the site number is uh, on there as well so that we know what camera number and where it's at for Farron. Uh, so that's just the first 33 devices. We still have uh, several to go. We've got 106 out there. Of course, we still have to work on those problem cameras, but um, this is just a walkthrough on how to do one of them. Um, at this point, uh, let's come back over here. Uh, we're pretty much done with this. And the next very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, in normally the next step I'll make a different video for pushing out the uh, cameras and installing them in the milestone um, but let's talk about this Bosch uh, configure Bosch cameras now this is going right now and you'll see this thing start to load information it's out there and it's communicating with the cameras right now and it's pulling back all of this information and, and validating it now if the information is wrong it would be in that rose pinkish color uh, that you see where it's when it's blank saying that it's wrong so it's being highlighted once it pulls the data back and it validates that it is in the format that we expect it to be in, it turns it white uh, so we expect to see everything now because we just provision these cameras to be in white now in the future um, if we have to replace a camera or, or something goes wrong with the camera and, and it loses its settings um, we would come into this part of the application to push those settings back out for that for a particular camera um, because we would not be reprovisioning a camera we would be replacing it so everything that's associated with it would stay associated with that same camera um, over here we've got the the DNS settings um, also we've got the sensor mode um, and encoder profile we've got all the encoder profile settings here and then the encoder streams um, so these are all set right now. If we needed to push one out, I come over here and I said set, and you see that message came back with encoder streams are configured. So it, it actually re-pushed those settings out even though they were the same. Um, that's how we can do that. So that's it for this video. Um, there'll be a few more coming up. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and We'll see you on the next video.